What we're going to do today is talk about the difference in lubrication requirements for the CNC HD4 and the HD5. There's different types of bearings in each and we're going to look at the differences and how often and the ramifications if you don't lubricate the system. So that's our project for today. This is the HD4 and if you look at the HD4 you can see that it has round, large bearings. You can also see that this one has a support that is, you can tell by the dust tracks if you look. There's a support that's added to take off some of the slop that was in the HD4. So it's tighter than it was before. That does not change the lubrication that does not change the lubrication requirements. It does make it stiffer so you can run it a little bit faster. This one's equipped with the spindle and it also has the new laser. The laser's been modified and I think the next generation lasers will have this built in so that it comes up and then does a quick connect at this point. And then this stays in your track so that each time you change to laser, you don't have to reroute this. But that's getting away from lubrication requirements. On this one, basically all you have to do is vacuum the rail. This one, this one, and the other side, of course. And then this one and this one. And then there's two more, there's six rails. If you look underneath, there's one down here with bearings, of course, and then one on the other side identical to that. All you're gonna do with these is wipe them down first with a clean rag. Uh, you can use all kinds of different rags, but it should be clean. This might not be dust free because I've used this one before, but you wipe it down like that. Make sure you don't have a worse work piece down here. In fact, some people recommend putting and it doesn't hurt. Hold on, I'll get some. If you look, I've added newsprint so that when I spray this, it doesn't go down on my work surface. Come on the other side to wipe it off first, of course. Spray it. You can vacuum it first too, that's helpful. Do you notice, see how it's coating it? Wipe off any excess. And then you can exercise your unit. You can do that several different ways. You can write a program to do it, or you can manually do it. Uh, if you want to manually do it, you should know how to do that because you've had your unit for a while. You simply start it up. Say okay, and we're gonna go, since we lubricated the X rail, we're gonna go X right in this case. And X left. Go to the full extension. When you get close to the end, you can slow it down. Did I get some of that lubricant? See, you heard it crash against the edge, which is fine. Um, it's not recommended to do it constantly, but it doesn't hurt anything because it doesn't, it's designed so that it doesn't hurt anything. Okay, so I'm gonna slow it down and keep going right. Okay, that's all the way, almost to the rail. That click click that knows that tells you here you can see it not turning tells you you've gone far enough then I'll speed it back up and move it to the left do that two or three times and that works it into the bearings don't forget to clean this shaft as well because that also needs to be wiped down and lubricated 
You do the same thing, repeat the procedure with this bearing, that screw, this bearing, and under here, roll it the other side, you got this side, bearing, and the screw is way back there. Can you see it? There it is. You can see the light reflect off of it right there. You got to do that one too. So, which means you spray it and wipe it down. Vacuum it, spray it, wipe it down. And that's it for this machine.